Norman. I'd like you to meet my friends. This is Dorothy. Hello, Norman. It's the bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> Hell with this town. Come away with me. But Biff, you're a drifter. How can I just pull up stakes and run off with you? Well, please reconsider, Josie. You're the prettiest girl in the county. <laughs> Shut up. Boy, you were a cute kid. Yeah, I was sort of cute. Oh, look, there I am at seven. An angel. Uh, here I am at 11. Adorable. Oh, look, here I am at 15. The beginning of the end. <laughs> Oh, hi, Rose. Uh, the ceiling in your room leaking, too? No, Dorothy, I just finished milking the cow I keep in my closet. <laughs> Gee, with only three hours sleep, I can be as... <laughs> I'm dying, Dorothy. Saturday, 9 o'clock. Don't make any plans. Oh, Ma, you're being ridiculous. I know. When was the last Saturday night you had plans? <laughs> hi, Blanche. Eat dirt and die, trash. <laughs> Ted, I think there's something you should know about Dorothy. She snores like a freight train. <laughs> Who cares? She's still a great gal. Hey, guy, you're, you're a wealthy doctor. You could have gorgeous women crawling at your feet. Why waste your time with Dorothy? Stan, I think you're a little out of line. I'm not knocking Dorothy. Oh, what would you call this? A testimonial? <laughs> and you will never eat ice cream or play jump rope again. Get real, Grandma. Oh, why can't I ever attract men like that? You can, Dorothy. Oh, Ma, Ma, you really think so? Of course not, but you think I'm going to tell you that? I'm your mother. Okay, girls, which goes better, the silver chain or the pearls? The chain. An amateur's mistake. Can't you see that the chain accentuates the many folds of that turkey-like neck? <laughs> well, that may be, but the pearls draw attention to the non-existent bosom. <laughs> yes, but the chain leads the eye even lower to that huge spare tire. <laughs> Jutting out over those square, manly hips. Why don't I just wear a sign that says, too ugly to live? Give me a seven-letter word which means lonely, middle-aged woman desperate to meet men. Oh, is that a uh, clue on your crossword puzzle? No, I'm getting your personalized license plate for your car. <laughs> okay, go ahead and fire her, Dorothy. But why should I be the one to fire her? You're the meanest. <laughs> That's not true. Dorothy just looks the meanest. How did the audition go? Great. Oh, you should have tried out, Dorothy. Everybody was really stinky. You might have gotten a part this year. <laughs> Dorothy Spornak, an English teacher originally from Brooklyn, New York. She now lives in Miami with her mother, who will gladly pay anyone who will take her out for a date. <laughs> My job is routine. I have virtually no social life and nothing interests me. My life has just become dull and boring. Where's that sense of fun? That light-hearted laughter? That devil-may-care attitude? Sophia, when was Dorothy ever like that? Never. I've been asking her these questions since she's 12. <laughs> Blanche, I didn't steal your date. Ted told me that the two of you had absolutely nothing in common. Well, obviously. He's dull, boring, and has dubious taste, to say the least. <laughs> I suppose there could be some exceptions. Convicts who haven't seen a woman in 25 years. Dorothy, if I ever do this to you, I want you to take me out to a field and shoot me. Could you put that in writing? <laughs> Dorothy, come closer. <laughs> It's true. You got mad at us for firing you. That's why you reversed that love potion you gave me. Honey, that wasn't love potion. That was Chanel number five. <laughs> I'm not buying that. Dorothy uses Chanel number five all the time, and she never attracts men. 
<laughs> You've got a lot of modern ideas for a woman your age. Oh, you're just saying. That. No, no, I mean it. I really think you're old. <laughs> I'm not about to mourn a man who's been with every woman in this room. He was never with me. I guess even he had his standards. <laughs> She's not fine, Blanche. Look at her. I didn't say she looks fine. I said she was fine. <laughs> she looks like hell. You have to, honey. You're getting sicker and sicker. Just like my heroine. Sicker and sicker. Though, of course, my heroine doesn't look like you. <laughs> this is a romantic novel, not science fiction. I got two tickets to the hottest Norwegian musical in town. Rose, you've really tempted me, but I do have other plans. You have a date? <laughs> <laughs> Never say that while I'm eating. <laughs> she doesn't approve. She doesn't approve? Now, look here, Stretch. I have a hundred cheese puffs and a sensitive assistant both on the verge of collapse. Whatever the problem is, overlook it. My mother did with my marriage, and if you say something smart, I'll slap you silly.